This is Goon Cassis Rifle TV in association with Mackney's Gym. I'm out at the O2 Arena here for Joshua vs Brazil. With me, I've got Tom Durren. Okay, so, yeah. Alright, mate. Suffered a defeat to uh, Chris Eubank Jr. tonight. How are you, first of all? Eh, uh, you know, gutted, but I think they're up for this move, you know. How did you assess, like, from round one to, to four? Uh, I felt I felt like I started good, you know. Um, got suckered into, you know, what he wanted. Um, going to, I think I walked onto an uppercut to start with, and um, no, I should have, I should have stayed on the outside of boxing. I was doing well there. But I mean, you countless times kept getting back up. It was the referee that finally kind of waved it off. But um, you know, how was his power? Um, I don't know. it's hard to say really. But you know, I, I tell you when I watch it back, it's and some of it's a bit blurry. But um, you know. Well, I was getting hurt, so it, it can't have been bad, can it, you know? It, it, it was, even though you were undefeated before tonight, it was a, a massive jump up for you in level of opposition, wasn't it, tonight? Of course it was, yeah, you know. Yeah. Everyone, well, I say, I, I was beat, a lot of people were writing me off from the start, you know, but I still believed I could do it, so. Did you feel like you was catching him at points in the fight earlier yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I thought you hit him a few times as well, but inexperience maybe you know I'm not you know I've not really been hurt before so and you know didn't know how to survive did you anticipate the sort of start that I didn't to be honest no, no I, I thought he was going to jump on me but you know he, he got behind the jab and well wasn't I wasn't really impressed by the jab to be honest um, I should have I should have capitalised on that a bit more really and you know punished him but I you know I didn't and you know better man one on the night you know I had to hold my hands up, you know. Fair do to him. I mean, this is obviously a setback for tonight, but it's you know no means going forward. To fight another day. The, the end of the world for you at all, because no, no. You know, it's all, like I said, you may possibly will go and fight Golovkin now, and like I said, you can move on and sort of try and get past tonight. Frustrating thing is, you know, he's being he's being called you know a hero for for challenging Golovkin when you know they're top five in the world. They're saying I'm 50th, he's third. There's been no mention to say, you know, oh, fair dues to Tom, you know what? But it's a title fight, and he's challenging number three in the world here. But, you know, that's, that's frustrating that. But there we go. Well, we know that was um, obviously a frustrating part of the build up to this fight because it was totally being overlooked by everyone um, as the potential fight after this. And for yourself and Dave Colwell speaking to you in the week, it was a frustrating thing, but. You've probably learnt something that you probably already know about boxing that this is going to happen. This yeah. sort of thing is going to happen. Well, that's it. It's, you know, you don't you know, like think it's going to happen, but it has. And you know, rebuild and come back stronger. What did uh, What did Dave say to you after the fight? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said you've got to learn to mess people about. Yeah, of survive. You, get, you know, it's. Just learning to survive. Yeah, stand there and stand the shade of them again. Mess them about, so, get your you know, head clear, and then go again. Not getting hurt, you know, enough probably in the past. So, what number five was that for you? Yeah, it was eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, was it? Yeah, it was seventeen and out going in. Yeah, so you can only really take, you know, as a learning experience and move on from it. It's not. It's not disgracing, obviously, losing to to Chris Eubank Junior at all. So. Yeah, no, of course, but it's tough, frustrating. Disappointing, and you know, like I say, rebuild and move on. All right, well, listen, thank you very much for giving me a little bit of time, Excellent and uh, thanks for all your time this week as well. Tom. I'll see you again for a, a, a winning interview. It's all right, listen, you got, like said, you've got to take the rough with this move, so thank you. All right, Coogan Cassius here with Tom Doran. Thank you very much.